It's happening here, you yeah. know. Uh, oh, only, uh, one thing is not changing here. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah only you. Thing. You. Yeah, yes. But you're still smiling. <laughs> yeah, with this additional thing on the yeah, only the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, tell me what's happened over the last three years. Well, everything happened. We exchange 90% uh, of our brew house and the fermenters. We add a lot of things. Yeah. We have a lot of equipment, uh, additional, and our beers are the quality is improving all the time. Yeah. So. Uh, Everything's changed, uh, but me, not but me. Yeah, and of course we have a new beers. Oh, sorry. Come on, not a problem. Yep, we have a new beer. Uh, this is an uh, American pale ale with the guava pool. Yeah, so we will try uh, try it. So let's do it. Oh, look at that! What's the ABV on this one? Uh, well, let's look. Uh, it is 4.8. 4.8% ABV. American Pale Ale, lovely and hazy, yeah. two finger white head, good carbonation. Yeah, and the haziness uh, goes from the pool, but also from the a little bit of hops which are inside. So let's try to do it. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Big aroma, double dry hopping. No, no one one dry hopping, but we have a uh, we have a big um, uh, hop pipe, so okay. we are doing uh, we uh, add a lot of hops in one time, even for the 40 kilos, so it's uh, more than one gram per liter. Okay, so a lot of a lot of hops, but here the uh, the point it's a guava. Do Do you know, it's, I'm getting um, like an English nettle, like a stinging nettle, like a, a little bit peppery. It came from the hops more yeah, yeah. Yeah, peppery, spicy, and then I would say more grapefruits, more of a, for me, an yeah, orange, sure, orangey, sure. kind of grapefruity yeah, aroma. Yeah, it, it is. Nice bitterness, not like crazy, crazy bitterness. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Very nice, very nice balanced bitterness. Terrific. Terrific, thank you, really good. Thank you. So, what about the Polish market? I, I, I didn't come last year. I come two years ago. Yep. Is it still like? Like booming, 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 or is it leveling? It's a little bit leveling, yeah, it is. Uh, but it's uh, also still there is a lot of place. Yeah, yeah for new ones, but also for uh, increasing breweries. Yeah, yeah so still uh, a lot of place. Uh, we we are increasing all of our capacity all the time, and uh, still. Um, Mike uh, sell all of the pool. Yeah. An interesting question I got for you. Yeah. Just, um, just out of, I suppose, because I all I keep seeing is that the the market is maturing. It's growing up. Um, you have some breweries now. They sell their beer in the supermarkets. Yes. Which is good. I think is a good thing. It makes the beer very accessible. Yeah. The net for me the next stage, and this is my prediction. Yep. Somebody like Beaver Town got bought up by Heineken yep. or um, some of the, the Oscar Blues in America. Yes, sure. But do you see a moment in time where somebody like Heineken purchases like a 45% stake in a Polish brewery and and then there's room for gro massive growth and 
do you see this happening as like the next stage? I'm not sure it will happen here because uh, you know uh, the number of. Not for you, not yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, but, but it, it but might. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. like anybody. Like, yes, like, like yes, it, it might happen, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure it will happen in the next ten years. Even, yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe later. Yeah, because it's still increasing in small uh, number of small brewers. Yes, yeah. now. So here is a boom. Yeah, but yeah. if we are looking on the um, those three biggest players, yeah, they they try to find their uh, new markets. Like for example, uh, low alcohol beer, which yeah. they they pulling everywhere now because uh, and they make a trend for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a lot of uh, low alcohol or zero zero even. Uh, so here they uh, try to put a lot of marketing in uh, and. Uh, such a product, and uh, maybe if uh, it is end, then they might start to do something with the uh, small brewers. Yeah, 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 yeah. To make a little, but but they making some uh, pale ales, American pale ales, so on, which are available in uh, each city, each market. Yeah. Yeah. But it's uh, I don't know, maybe le uh, less than one percent of the, the production. Okay. And and talking about production, yep. yeah. Um, you've got a nice sized building. How much more? How much more room do you have to grow? No, this is all which we have here. So what happens in the future when you carry on growing? We are building our own brewery. Really. Wow, really? We are starting in the end of this year, I hope. Yeah. And we will do make a more or less five uh, times bigger place. Yeah. But we are, then we are going on our own. Yeah, because here we are uh, just renting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, building our own. Yes. Like crowdfunding or something like no, that. No, 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 no. I'm not uh, the best thing. I'm not thinking that the okay. crowdfunding is the best yeah. one. But the best way for us. Yeah. Well, I, I think the last beer I had from you filming on the on the channel, yep. we had an ice beer at the festival. Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah. What have you uh, got coming up at the festival on the weekend? What's coming? What's coming? In well, the uh, we have a few the additional uh, beers which uh, came up. Uh, so the first one you just uh, drink a little bit earlier. So the have a bison with the mango. I love that beer. Yeah, I love that beer. Love we'll it. We'll have uh, um, Imperial Baltic Porter. Uh, a new try. one. Must try. Yes. At, the, at the festival. Yeah, yeah. Also. Uh, we will have a uh, uh, very new beer, the Gosa, Gosa which we, I br uh, brew with the Grover uh, so Zamkowy Grover Cieszyn. It is a, a part of the Heineken beer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> I uh, brew it uh, uh, 200 hectares. Wow, wow, fantastic. That's, that's a big. Yeah, that's a so big it will be available each brewery. Yeah? Yeah. Martin wants to come on and do a video with you, so I, I yes. won't take up any more Very of your cool. time. But Thank this you. beer is absolutely wonderful. Nine out of ten. Stone the Crows. Thank you. Nine out of ten. Really? Nine, Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. So ten is always uh, available for us, I hope. It's, this is terrific. It's a really terrific beer. Um, and we'll see you at the festival. Yes, sure, sure. Stone the crows! <laughs>